evil out there Disorder and confusion everywhere No one seems to care Wait, isn't this song copyright? I'll cut the intro. <coughs> ah, I see, yes. So you're looking to go to the tropical dry forest. Kind of a specific biome to want to go to for a vacation, but that's just me. Well, fortunately for you, I'm here to persuade you into choosing the extravagant tropical dry forest for your next vacation destination. The tropical dry forest is surprisingly inhabited by trees, which are almost all deciduous due to the less forgiving dry season. Speaking of seasons, it doesn't have any. The temperature being always above 63 degrees Fahrenheit year round, and with less than 20 centimeters of rain annually, this place is always dry. But despite being bone dry, some things live here for some reason. As seen in the clip, the lemurs of Madagascar account for some of the mammalian life in the tropical dry forest biome. There's some other stuff inhabiting the biome too. Asian elephants, pumas, jaguars, some birds, some chameleons, and this tortoise which apparently is extremely endangered. Some plants thrive in this biome too. As aforementioned, deciduous trees are prominent, and specific flora include drought-resistant plants like orchids and cacti, as well as acacia trees and agaves. Because we humans love to destroy things for personal gain, a lot of tropical dry forests have suffered deforestation and have been turned into pasture land. Thanks, humanity! So there you go, we got some lemurs and a few trees. If you're looking to travel to a tropical dry forest, or at least one of them that's left, they are found between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn in areas like southern Mexico, southeastern Africa, the Lesser Sundas, central India, Indochina, Madagascar, New Caledonia, eastern Bolivia, and central Brazil, as well as many other places.